Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Adam Schiff, he just backstabbed President Joe Biden in the worst way. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you support Donald Trump the way we support Donald Trump, hit the join button and become a member of this channel. Guys, Adam Schiff just did really the worst thing you could do to President Joe Biden right now, besides tell him to get out of this campaign. The thing he's been trying to avoid most of all, the thing he's dancing around, the thing he won't answer a single question on, he won't commit to doing, and that is take a cognitive test. Well, Adam Schiff, Adam Schiff says Joe Biden should take a cognitive test if he wants to stay in this presidential race. That's bombshell territory. Now, of course, Adam Schiff had to put in that he thinks Trump should take one, too. But here's the thing, silly Adam Schiff. Trump has agreed to take one if Biden takes one. Trump has already taken one as president. He's agreed to take another. Why will Joe Biden not take a cognitive exam? Tell me, if everything's okay, what is the reason this man will not take a cognitive exam? Unless you know you are going to fail, there is no reason to not just, it would, put a, it would put aside the fears of so many voters if you passed a cognitive test. So why wouldn't you do it? What's a reason you wouldn't do it unless you know you can't pass it? I want you to listen to what Adam Schiff here said, and then I want you to leave your comments and let me know why you think Joe Biden won't take the cognitive exam. You heard Nancy Pelosi say that it's legitimate to ask, was this an episode or a condition? President Biden refused to commit to take a cognitive test. Do you think he should take a cognitive test? Uh, look, I'd be happy if both the president and Donald Trump took cognitive tests. So that's tests. a yes. You think he should take a I, cognitive test? I think test? they both should uh, uh, be willing to take a test. Uh, I think, frankly, a test would show Donald Trump has serious uh, illness of one kind or another. Um, but, but ultimately, the decision is going to come down to what Joe Biden thinks is best. And, and if the, his decision is to run, then run hard and beat that SOB. And if his decision is to pass the torch, then the president should do everything in his power to make that other candidate successful. And let me ask you about next steps, because obviously there are going to be meetings on Capitol Hill. Leader Jeffries, Mark Warner, concerned about down-ballot races. Are Democrats in trouble with Joe Biden at the top of the ticket? Uh, look, there are concerns with the impact uh, on down-ballot races if the president doesn't do well. Is he dragging uh, down down-ballot races as we speak? Uh, you know, I, I, at present, our, our down-ballot candidates in the Senate and House are doing well. They're all ahead. Uh, they are running well ahead of the president. But you can only run so far ahead of the president. Uh, and so, the, obviously, Joe Biden is going to need to consider... Uh, for his own sake and his own legacy, can he beat Donald Trump? He's the best to beat Donald Trump. But also, uh, the, the profound impact this decision, maybe the most important of his presidency, will have on the House, on the Senate, on, on the future of the country. He